A lot of villages now are um, have legalized them, like Bluffton, Ottawa. Okay. A lot of other ones are have also. Yeah. But were we, you guys kind of like the first? We were second in the state of Ohio. Oh really? Guess Good what food. was the first? Huh? Putin Bay. <laughs> oh well, they that were, makes sense. Yep, they were first. We were second. Is it mostly uh, older people or not? Um, no. Really? No. We, there's ages? a lot of middle-aged people have them just for running up town and. Yeah, yeah, is that sort of the appeal? Is instead yeah, of getting for the them, most part, you just, yeah. you used to use them buzz around town, run up to, to Ted's Market, pick up a gallon of milk, or go to the bank or post office. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll tell you how it all started. We had a gentleman in town. He lived in the um, villas, the independent living behind the Hildy home. Okay. And uh, his name is Francis Nussbaum, and he had a golf cart back there and wanted he would take his friends for rides just around the grounds back there. Mm -hmm. And he thought it would be nice to be able to take them up to the bank or the yeah, lunch box or pharmacy or whatever. And he came to council and he said, how would I make this legal? Yeah. And uh, we tasked our police chief into researching it. And there is statutes in the Ohio Revised Code that legalize what they, they called them then underage vehicle or under speed vehicles. <laughs> okay. That's what they were called at the time, and so we uh, passed the ordinance allowing it. So when you guys were first getting into this, when that gentleman first came to council and everything, mm -hmm. was there a lot of um, sort of like researching that you had to do? Well, the what? police chief, Scott Stant, mm -hmm. did most of that research to come up with um, the ability to do it and uh, brought it to council and said, here's what you have to do. And mm -hmm. so. Was everybody on board? Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. it was one hundred percent passing. I know when Ottawa passed theirs a couple of years ago, the re their hold off was the, the major state routes going through Ottawa. Mm -hmm. They were concerned about safety with those state routes, where we only have Route Twelve. I don't know that they're even allowed on Route Twelve. They can cross Route Twelve, but uh, yeah. I'm not sure that they can travel up and down. Although you see them doing it all the time. Well, yeah. <laughs> Well, this is really the perfect town for it then. Considering it is. Yeah, our streets know. are pretty quiet as far as traffic. So no crashes, <laughs> nothing like that. that Not you know that of. I'm aware of. Yeah. Not that I'm aware of. So, yeah. People seem to be pretty careful with them.